Slides, get your butt slides here, butt slide. What's up everybody, it's BBK Dragoon. So yeah, I was wrong about DLC being announced at PlayStation Experience. You know, I really, I really thought it was primed, butt slide, was primed and ready for a DLC announcement there. It didn't happen. They did show off Sparrow Racing League, which is what we're gonna talk about today. It's kind of, <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> butt sliding, it's the new killer sport of destiny. <laughs> SRL is the abbreviation for Sparrow Racing League, if you don't know what it is. For three weeks, starting on December 8th, which is this Tuesday, anybody who owns the Taken King is going to be able to do Sparrow Racing. Six people, and there's two maps, and the maps are brand new. A lot of work went into it. It looks like pod racing from Star Wars Episode One. There are enemies on the track that are trying to kill you. You also are trying to push the people you're racing out of the way. There's gates that you want to go through to get boost. Brand new set of gear, brand new looking sparrows that are very pretty. Very, very pretty. Uh, geez, it looks cool. Some Tron-like looking outfits, very aerodynamic. Some of that gear is infusible up to 320 light, so this is gear you could actually wear doing high-end PvE or PvP stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's showing up. It's going to be here for three weeks, and then it goes away. The reason it goes away is they're going to take it back into Santa's workshop type of thing, listen to the feedback that we have with it and either work more on it and add more tracks and make Sparrow Racing League a bigger thing and bring it back to the game later or if people don't like it then they're gonna just shift their focus to something else this is all built by the live team these are the people that brought us Festival of the Light this new kind of motive for Destiny year two I won't lie, it's not what I had hoped for. Uh, I am excited, and I'm gonna, like, this video is kind of about expectations and false expectations, and I think I did a, a negative thing in building false expectations in my videos talking about maybe there'll be DLC at PSX, like an announcement. So, the thing with Sparrow Racing League, it looks really cool, and doggone it, I'll definitely be on playing. It's something we've wanted for a while, right? Looks really cool, actually. A lot of effort went into it. But at the time of the announcement, oh my gosh, I was salt. There was so much salt that the Destiny subreddit actually temporarily disabled submissions to a, you know, stop the impending doom of thousands of Guardians coming in and saying, where's the content, bro? Here is the thing. We would like to see a roadmap for Destiny Year 2. And in that roadmap, Specifically, players would like to know what kind of raid and long-form questline content Bungie has planned for the second year of Destiny. Are there going to be any DLC packs like House of Wolves or Dark Below before Destiny 2 comes out? Look at it. Look, look at this spot down on the lighthouse. It like pulls your, your robes. <laughs> this is really random footage that I liked that I had on my hard drive here. Um, I get really anxious about Destiny news for two reasons. I run a Destiny channel, and well, I do Halo here too, but when the hype train is flowing, it's usually when the news is flowing, and any YouTuber would be lying if they say, oh, I don't like the hype train. No, dude, hype train is awesome. Gets people watching, the community feels bigger and happier. Everybody's like, oh, what's coming next? We're looking forward to this. I also run the Destiny the Show with Diddy. He and I put that together. It's a news podcast about Destiny news. And since there's not been much news, we've had to actually do more discussions instead. So we're learning how to change things up. PlayStation Experience, a lot of the big YouTubers were going. And it led a lot of community members to start rumors going, hey, I think this would be the right time. I think Bungie's going to do it. But Bungie never said anything about doing a DLC announcement there. They never did. So I built up these false expectations, and when they announced Sparrow Racing League, I ended up being disappointed instead of excited about a really cool feature. Now there's two things at play here. I think it is okay as a Destiny player to want to know the roadmap for year two, to want to know if we're getting raids or long form quest lines before Destiny 2, or whatever the release is this September, or 2016 September. I think it is okay to be at that point saying to Bungie, we love a roadmap, we love you to just tell us Hey, Guardians, there'll be DLC in year two. That's it. But that is a separate thing and feeling for being excited about Sparrow Racing League. You can have both emotions at the same time. You can be excited about the December update in Sparrow Racing League. I'll talk in a second about December update is actually really, really full of stuff. 
And at the same time, you can want from Bungie to know their year two plan. You shouldn't break out the pitchforks, but I see nothing wrong with giving them feedback saying, you guys, I'm a little bit worried. Is there going to be DLC, but could you please give us a roadmap? Thank you. That's different than saying, you suck. Of this game, so dead, no content budget. Now, what's the moral, or the takeaway, of this story? Well, I'm gonna say it as if Dragoon was talking to himself. Just a really weird third-person thing to do, but, Dragoon! You overhyped up the idea of thinking there was gonna be a big DLC announcement at PSX. And when there wasn't, you were disappointed, and instead of having a happy heart, a grateful heart, regarding Sparrow Racing League, which looks pretty freaking cool, you were salty. It's okay to want a roadmap from Bungie. But don't become a salty, unhappy, ungrateful heart. Nobody likes that. Be stoked. Make content that inspires people. Also, the December update, end quote, I'm done talking to myself now. The December update is pretty chock full of some cool stuff, and we're going to talk about it in Destiny the show this week. Sunbreakers are getting a little bit of a nerf. Striker Titans are getting a bit of a buff. T-Rex arms are going away. If you're a Titan, this is a great time to be a Titan. You're getting to try out the first time we've seen class balance changes on this scale. All right? It's almost a class rework for the Striker. In addition, you've got a bunch of Year 1 exotics getting Year 2 versions. There's two brand new exotics. You've got SRL, Sparrow Racing League. Gear to go after for that. And you also... What is the... What, 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 what? The new PvP weapon balance is going to be pretty cool. There's two new exotics. Challenge modes! If I didn't already say that. In conclusion, be really careful with false expectations, and I'm going to be more careful on the channel here moving forward. Making those videos about DLC being at PlayStation Experience, I would have lost a bet. In fact, I think in most of the videos, I'm like, oh, bet five bucks they're going to announce the next DLC there. I'm going to be more careful about those kind of videos moving forward. Because I hope I didn't give you guys false expectations that led to disappointment yesterday instead of being kind of stoked about something. And remember, both emotions can live side by side. We can want a roadmap, but we can also be excited about free stuff that's on its way. If you want to talk about anything in this video, I would love to hear your opinion. Might have been a little rambly, but Dragoon was speaking from the heart. Thanks, Guardians. I hope you have a great Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. We'll talk with you next time.